Welcome to the podcast of all podcasts. Everything money. What's on your mind, Mo? Well, I have several topics today. Okay. Number one, they, they started the roads in my neighborhood. <laughs> That's Guys, true. I saw. When I came to your neighborhood this weekend and I saw the sign, I just started laughing. I swear to God. So you know how they like grind out the, the old asphalt and yeah. then it's just like absolute shit? Yeah. It is better driving on that. Than it is the old roads. Oh my God! Here we go. You're driving you up. Stop with us. It's phenomenal. My Would life. You stop is, with us. My life is so. It's perfect right now. I know. And you I'm know. driving by and I'm waving all the guys. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm so happy. I got neighbors emailing me. Thank you for doing this. Come on. Yeah. I've gotten so many. How did we get your email? I gave it to him. Oh. I gave my phone number too. <laughs> I know you're getting a lot of phone calls and text messages. It's just like all praise. So have you figured out politics is so easy? Have you, have you figured out who told you to run for state rep? No, I don't know. There's it's just I don't know if I should say this person's name. Probably not. No, but they just sent me an email and they were like, you should you should run for state. Rep. You know who it would be against? Bill Romer. Oh, <laughs> That's friend. yeah, Mikey's friend. You're right. <laughs> so yeah, he came to my house. He came to that Galloway yeah. house once, and he yeah. was like, "Are you Mike Gabriel's brother?" I'm like, "I." Well, first he asked me. I think he asked for a donation, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't give to political campaigns. Um, and then he goes, are you Mike Gabriel's brother? I'm like, I am. And then I don't remember what happened from there. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I try to avoid political, all, as many political, unless you know, it's a friend or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I'm running for mayor slash president of the United States, I expect <laughs> donations. <laughs> I love it. Mayor slash president of the United States. <laughs> Nicole was like, Mo, if you really want to be in politics, you have to start small. I was like, Trump didn't do it small. I could do it big. I'm going to start a pack, a super pack. I'm going to start a pack called Mo's an Idiot. (laughs) As long as you donate to me, you can call whatever you want. Uh, So let's stay on the topic of roads real quick. Okay. Lisa's working with... She's trying no, to, she hasn't she, started yet. She's 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 got to she's got to get on the ball. No, I want to get the no no. I need to get the house done first. All right, I'll do it. It's easy. Politics no, is so Mo, easy. I need the house done first. I need to get. It approval. wouldn't make sense to do your roads before that. Well, not no, not only that. I don't want to piss anybody off. Okay. All right, I'll come in when you need me. <laughs> Will you really help her? Sure, I'll bring in the big guns. <laughs> I got a letter drafted already. From, for Lisa? Yeah. Or are you just going to take the original take, one? I'll take mine and just put her name in. There's only seven houses in our street, it's in even our better. neighborhood. Just, if, if those seven people just start calling, calling, calling. That's all you got to do. You just got to make noise. You don't bother me when I talk to him. The guy's like, oh, uh, well, we did the economics of it. It didn't make sense to... I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we're just going to have, like, Fallujah. Yeah. <laughs> like, roads. legit, your roads are probably worse than my neighborhood oh yeah 100 no, no not even close it was like yeah. ours are way worse in your neighborhood yeah way it worse like, it was like a war zone that was funny you're like this is like ukraine yeah i was like this is like this is driving through here's like ukraine <laughs> post bombings i mean it's bad post bombings. just want to make that clear it's bad but yeah anyways so uh that's my political scroll down a little bit update. would you i want to sure, see what uh be. NVIDIA is at okay. Intel's up 5.25%, but it was funny because it was up, it was down 5% earlier this week. Was it on the NVIDIA news? Okay, look at NVIDIA. It is uh, down two and a half percent, 10 yeah. bucks. Okay, four percent. Oh boy, okay. we're done here. <laughs> look at that parabolic rise. Yeah, yeah, somebody on Twitter wrote, like, well, I'm happy to hear, I'm happy to see that everybody on Twitter says they own um, NVIDIA. And I laughed at that one. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's freezing in here. It is. Let's see. Look at that. It's up 28% in a week. Yeah, That's look normal. to date, 173%. That's normal. This is probably going to end very well. <sighs> what, did, what, did I, what did I want to go next with this? It was, I wanted to kind of flow, but we just, that just derailed things. The one thing that I did, I thought about this yesterday when we were recording the Google video and we, I texted you about it. Buffett, none of those guys, they, none of them bought Google when it was in the <laughs> 80s. Don't you think that's weird? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it didn't dawn on me until yesterday. Meta at 88, you know, you thought, you know, I think Meta's, uh, w- <sighs> yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I was, ju- it just hit me yesterday and I was like, huh, nobody, I, there were a couple, I think there was one or two that bought it. So look at, Super look at, investors. look at Apple. Mm-hmm. Warren Buffett makes a valid point about the mode of Apple. If you told people give up your car for a year, give up your phone, they're going to give up their car. Yep. You know, and it's yep. like that, that's a moat. The funny thing is about Google, you don't have to give anything up. No, and I, I know, and I, and I feel, 
Yeah, I don't know. That's a good. It's a really good question, Mo. Mm-hmm. I really don't understand, yeah. know how to answer it really that. Hit me yesterday, and I was like, huh. I wonder why it wasn't even not that they just didn't buy it. Nobody even spoke about it. Yeah. And even at the Berkshire annual meeting, God, my nipples are nope. so <laughs> What's wrong the with Berkshire you? annual meeting. What happened? Nobody even talked about Google. No, nope, nobody brought it up in the crowd. No, not that, not that I remember seeing. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't listen to the full three hours, but it wasn't, there wasn't one. They filed to on get it. like 4 million more shares of Occidental Petroleum. Yes. I saw that today. Was that last, it was today. I thought it was today or yesterday. I don't oh, remember. Okay. Uh, they did something last week with Occidental also. Oh, I think that, yeah, they bought more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, um, listen, who knows? Really, who knows? I mean, if you look at their portfolio, they're really banking on companies that they foresee to be around forever. And Google's in that category. I, listen, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I, maybe I think so too, but. I would be astonished. I would honestly be surprised in the next 10 years if they were not still the market leader in search engine. Oh, yeah. I'd be, I'd be surprised by that, too. Very much surprised. Yeah. Like, I don't think that Bing and ChatGPT, even though the, B- Bing has the help of ChatGPT, I'm also not convinced that this AI is going to be as big as people think. Oh, no, I disagree. I think AI will be big. I just don't think that – I just think it's one of those things where people are overhyping it like usual. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, I mean, all you have to say is like, any- well, think about it. Think about, think about all the, <clears throat> think about all the grapes you and I have about, look at, look at today. Well, I don't even know I should say this, but Tim, you and I today are talking about developers. There's gotta be a point at some point where AI can develop for us. <laughs> Right. Well, yeah, I was talking with our editor, Justin, about can he showed me a commercial where AI generated the commercial and there were issues like there were extra fingers on bodies. And but that's I thought it was pretty damn impressive for what it looked like right now. That's the point. That's my point about AI. It's It's like going to be able to write movies. It's going to make actors obsolete. Yeah. And like I said to you before, (laughs) when you just said right now, though. Uh, I don't think AI is going to be as big. You just said something that's like well, absolutely I don't huge. Think it's gonna, no, I don't think it's going to be as big. It's not going to flop like the metaverse is flopping, but I don't think it's going to be something that like changes the world. Oh, I think absolutely will change the world. You think? Yeah, I really do. I think people are going to screw it up and it's not going to change the world. Yeah, maybe. That's what I think. Listen, but it just, the reason why I think it's going to change the world, it just makes sense that it's the next horizon for us. Like, okay, instead of us spending our time doing stuff, we have AI that automatically says, okay, well, based on this, I mean, we all have, we, we have forms of artificial intel- AI already, artificial mm-hmm. intelligence already. We've had it for a while, mm-hmm. but now it's going to become a lot more integrated. Did you hear about a, um, <clears throat> some lawyer submitted a, a, a lawsuit or a brief using AI and they quoted the wrong cases or something like that. No. And they got, they're going to get in trouble for it. Really? Yeah. That's the thing. I, I think that's going to be things that are growing with AI. But the question is, it, I mean, the question is who's going to be the, who are the companies that are going to be the one that are going to really lead the, the development of it to make it better. Yeah. I mean, aren't we AI in the simulation that we're in? After the video I saw this morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, the simulation we're in is AI driven, right? Yeah. We're all AI. Yeah, there's basically one person that makes me believe we're living in a simulation. <laughs> That's your boy. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump. Nick, yeah. I saw this video this morning. It was so funny. So it was, the, it, was the, it was the one where I never noticed this before. When Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away, he was doing a rally. And he came off stage, and they put the camera in his face as he was walking to his plane, Air Force One. And they said, uh, what do you think about Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing away? And he's, he's walking, and he's just like, Oh, oh, I, I didn't know that. This is the first I'm hearing about it. And then he just all of a sudden goes, and he's like, he, he's like ready to make a profound statement. And I'm just like, this guy's not real. <laughs> this guy's not real. <laughs> it's the best video. You gotta, he, Justin has to clip this in because it's just, if you watch it for that, it's like, wow. He just switched his mindset and he's like, okay, I have to make a presidential statement right now. God, he's a weirdo. <laughs> he's so interesting. <laughs> Um, what's Biden's <clears throat> approval rating right now? Zero. Zero. Shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Biden would ask the question, approval rating of what? All right, which fake news source do you want? <laughs> CNN. Okay, the best one. 100%, <laughs> I'm sure. <clears throat> 39%. 39%. Sample size. 1,000 people. Margin of error, plus or minus 4%. More like plus or minus 40%. Hashtag Mo. 
minus 40%. <laughs> yeah. No plus. <laughs> um, so the uh, real estate, I was looking at, Nicole, Nicole sent me this article, which was weird. She sent me a real estate article. <laughs> It was very strange. She's like, I found the numbers very interesting. I was like, really? What? <laughs> no, what is that? Didn't. And she goes, well, I'm head of financial household now. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so Nicole has this thing where she thinks she and Lisa are going to run our finances of each of our households. And they'll do better. Yeah, and they'll do better than us. Yeah. I'm like, okay, sounds good. Yeah. Uh, but the interest rate, the mortgage rate right now is over 7%. It's like yeah. 7.12%. Yeah, I saw 7.14, same and, difference. And just two weeks ago, it was like 639 yeah, so Mikey, his locked in. But what do you what do you lock in at? Okay, on to the next. On to the next topic. <laughs> um, um, the supply issue is the issue. Yeah, of I course. Supp- new listings are down twenty six percent. Yeah, but they were all they were very elevated back then, weren't well, that's they? True, they're coming off of. Highs. Yeah, but still, like, you house goes, I mean, we're seeing it in Cleveland. It's crazy. Houses go on the market, and it's like, bye-bye. Yeah. Within, When's your house going to get listed? Um, Probably June 30th. That's June the, 30th? That's the deadline. Well, Jesus the problem Christ, is I'm Mo. painting the cabinets inside. I'm painting the cabinets white. Yeah, what does that take? That takes a month? Have you been working with contractors? Leroy did, did my cabinets in, like, a day. Well, the guy's, he's like, I'll finish them in four hours, but I got to squeeze you in. I was like, oh. Four hours? Cool. Yeah. There's not many that, it's not that many cabinets. No, but I mean, like, in. and he's got to squeeze you in? Yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. Looks like you got to call Bill. No. <laughs> I'd rather wait until June 30th of 2024 than talk to Bill. <laughs> Bill is uh, the painter who does a great job on exterior, but... He has a lot to handle. <laughs> he has a lot to handle. We would have paused, and he would have been calling me 15 times by right now. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? No, he calls you. What do you call him, Muhammad? Muhammad. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to tell this story. So I have a studio up above my second garage, <laughs> and you, have to, you have, obviously have to go up some stairs to get there. It's where he does the morning show out yeah. every day. So one day, Bill's outside. I'm in the studio, and I just hear Bill standing outside of the garage just screaming, Mohammed, and I'm just like, <laughs> I, like I have my earpieces in, so I take them out and I hear him. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Next thing you know, the door opens. He is army crawling in the room, <laughs> and he's like, Mohammed, I have a question for you. I'm like, Bill, I'm on the air. I'm on the air. You can't ask a question. Here. And he just lays there and he just waits. <laughs> 30 minutes until I'm done. No, he doesn't. Swear to God, he just lays there like this, like staring at me. I love this man. So I end the show, and I'm like, Bill, what? He's like, "Uh, can I trouble you for a bottle of water? (laughs) (laughs) No. I'm just like, uh, yeah. Simulation. Simulation. It It was like literally the best thing ever. And he's, the best was just him screaming Muhammad. It's not my name. <laughs> He's been working on and off for me for three years now. Uh, he knows yeah. my name. He fills out the invoices. He's incredible. Yeah, he's incredible. Drop <laughs> <laughs> me for a bottle of water. <laughs> like, yeah, Bill, go in the fridge. Go for it. <laughs> oh, God. How's your scuba? Did you start yet? No, I got to fill out the paperwork and... and uh, the lady's kind of mean. Why? The guy was super nice on the phone. The lady I'm dealing with, it was just like, I don't know. She's just mean. I'm like, lady, I, come on. Why are you being mean to me? I like I had to figure. So we're going to be out of town when the f- first orientation classes. So okay. the guy was talking to her and she said, I always do a schedule another orientation class. Like just one-on-one. I'm like, great. Okay. So he says to me, text her your information and she'll email it to you. So like mm-hmm. a week passes, nothing. So I text again and go, Hey, I haven't heard anything. Boom. Email sent. I go, Hey, you know, I'm out of town that first time. And then she like snapped back at me something. And now the email's gone. <clears throat> what do you mean? It's gone. I don't know. It's gone now. I can't find the email she sent to me about did that. Did you redact it? I, can you do that? Uh, did you see it instantly? Yeah, but when they retru- re- retract the emails, I think it just stays on the like. If I send an it email, doesn't, it doesn't show you. It doesn't go out. Oh. It like stays in the sent folder, like gotcha. the, in the in the draft or whatever. And then hmm. it's kind of like your way of saying, "Oh, I don't want to send that email. Undo." Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I'm still uh, up for scuba. Scuba? That's pretty sweet. What's sweet? 
Doing scuba? Yeah. I'm surprised you say that. I don't, you, you I don't want to. It's just cool. Mary went scuba. Di- Mary, Mary went skydiving, skydiving yesterday. Skydiving yesterday. That is something I would never do. I want to do, do it? it. Oh, I want to do it so bad. Really? I just want the balls still. She did 13,500 feet. When she, oh, she was in Florida. She is in Florida. She's crazy. <laughs> Two reasons. Who goes to Florida in basically June? Yeah, I know. Mary. She loves She loves the heat. It is like 150,000% humidity. And she's <laughs> she like, loves this it. Is great. Yeah. She's a little like, oh, it's so wonderful. And I'm like, if it's above 75, I'm like, oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah, yesterday. Somebody throw water on me. Yesterday I was outside and it was like 84, and I was like, oh God, I don't know how I can do this. We went on a walk yesterday, Lisa and I, after um after dinner, and it was I was sweating. Yeah, it was bad. It was it was seventy eight at that time. Okay, so Monday was very hot here. Um, it was very hot. I I went to my neighbor's swimming pool just to check it out. Didn't I come over Monday and just say yeah. hi? Yeah. yeah. So it was after. It was a couple hours after that. So okay. it got a little hotter. And I went to my neighbor's pool to see what he did back there and everything. I was sweating like a pig. Really? And he was in the pool, and I'm just, like, wiping. I'm like, all right, Greg, I got to go. It's too hot here. Hosvar? No. Um, does he have a pool? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, no, the neighbor who lives two houses behind. Oh. Yeah. The White House? Correct. That, um... He's, he's a really nice guy. Is he? Yeah, very nice guy. He was actually... I didn't realize he played golf, but he was just at Big Cedar in the Ozarks where we're going in oh. May. And then he also invited when are you, when are you going? in May of next year. Who's going? <clears throat> uh, the usual crew, me, Mikey, Andrew, Brad, Joe, Rusty. Oh, that crew? Because yeah, yeah. I want to go to Ozarks. It looks I, be, awesome. I was there when I was a kid because we used to live in St. Louis and Columbia. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the Ozarks. Yeah, I do want to go. I can't wait for that. And then he also invited me. Have you ever heard of Terra Edi? It's in New Zealand. No. It's like the number one golf course in New Zealand. He was like, I, was like, I want to go to New Zealand. That place looks awesome. Yeah, he was like, my friend my friend owns the golf course, and he's like, he's putting us up in his house, and we're going to play golf. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm in. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm going to Scotland on Saturday. Um, with Dad and Mikey and who else? Andrew. Oh, Andrew's going too? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to play six rounds of golf in five days. Shoot me. Why do you do this? It wasn't me. It was your brother. Well, you can say no. Well, the one day where it's 36, the second round is St. Andrew's Old Course, so I can't just, say no. Well, then just say no to the first round. Well, I think the first round is pretty sick, too. <laughs> so, But I did say, so I, I've told my group of friends, there is no more 36 for me, period. After You this said trip. that last time, too. No, no, no. I, no, no, no you no. said that last time. No, I, after, after the last trip we went on, yeah. right, at Pinehurst, I said, I'm done with 36 with the exception of the one day in June. And then after that, they already booked the Big Cedar trip, and they booked it every single day is 18 holes, and you could tack on an extra 18 if you want to because they were like, all right, we're catering to Mo. Are you guys, uh, <laughs> are you guys running a house? Um, no, we're going to stay at the Big Cedar Lodge or something. Let me look this place the up. owner of Bass Pro Shops is the one who kind of – Oh, really? Bass Pro Shops? Yeah. This place is sick. Yeah. So uh, it should be a pretty fun trip. I'm pretty pumped. But the Scotland one's going to be – I can't believe we're going to get to play the old course. That's a hard one to get. It's not a guarantee. Well, you can guarantee you just have to pay a little more. Oh, wow. Look at this big cedar. Oh, man. It's so awesome. Damn. Like, I was looking through their website, going through even their gym. State of the art. Really? Absolutely state of the art. Swimming pools, restaurants, trails, shotgun shooting. I mean, they got everything there. It's super cool. You know where I really want to go back, though, is Reynolds Plantation in Georgia on Lake Oconee. I think I told you that. Lake Oconee. How do you yeah. spell that? That's the one like o- two hours out east of Atlanta? Correct. O-C-O-N-E-E. The problem is the houses there are super expensive. <laughs> yeah. But I think that would be a fun trip just uh, to go. Because, I mean, the, the, it would be, it would, it's a good place to take, like, your girlfriend or your wife or whatever because <coughs> there's so much to do. What do you mean so much to do? Oh, they have spas and swimming pools and tra- bike trails and Doesn't, hiking trails. Uh, and ben Raplesberger have a house there? He does. So does... Uh, is it Carrie Underwood? Yeah, she does. Carrie has one there. Well, that's not bad. We're is playing. It, that's probably not on the water. When I go to Nashville, we're playing the Governor's Club, and Carrie Underwood's building a new house there. Carrie Underwood has a lot of houses on golf courses. She must like looking at golf courses. She does. I'm looking at this house here in Greensboro, Georgia, but I don't think it's on the water. 
No, it's not. F. The ones, the, like the Lake Oconee homes on the water are pricey. Yeah, here's one. This looks pretty dated, and it's, let's see. Oh, actually, it's brand new. Boy, that's God, small. Costs are so front. high right now. I'm, I'm telling you. What was that? <laughs> it said costs are so high right now. I'm putting in the swimming pool, and I'm just like, what is going on? How does everything cost this much? Welcome to Biden's America. Amen to that, bro. Actually, this isn't bad. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's wild. But I'm going to do the pool because you know why? I looked at, do you remember the home? Obviously, you remember it. It was the Yellow Creek home. The super modern one. On yeah, the yeah, beautiful. yeah. I was like, yeah, eh, I, I don't want to. I like it, but I wouldn't move there. Then I saw Mikey's home, and I was like, I like it, but I wouldn't move there. And so I was like, you know what? That means just stay put. That means you like your house. So I was like, all right, put the money into it. You know? I'm not going to be leaving anytime soon. Plus, this backyard is going to be sick. Listen, you know how I feel about all this stuff. Like, I'm done with moving. I'm done with all this crap. Like, that's why, I, yeah, it's just. It's a pain in the ass. Listen, when I was at your house, so Mo bought my house. And I miss that house, but I don't miss having neighbors. Like, I look at it going, oh, God, everybody's around you. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. But if I had to, if I if I, was, it's like, I could have lived there the rest of my life. Right. The thing is, is like, I was looking at for land, and it's, it's the cost to build is uh, out outrageous. It's probably not going down in the next 10 years. That's right. Or the next 20 or the right. next 30. So I guess, I suppose if I found a piece of land, I would just buy it and maybe, maybe build, maybe not. Who knows? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm excited about living in this house forever and just doing things to the house. Yeah. That's you, fun to me. So much property. You can also build a different structures if you want it to. Yeah. But it's just fun to be able to go, oh, cool. I want to do this to the house. Let yeah. me go do it because I'm not worried about it. Cause I, you know, it's funny. It's like, uh, okay, well, I'm probably never going to sell it. So mm -hmm. I mean, I'd like to be able to, to live in this house forever. Mm -hmm. Ideally. Yeah. Who knows what happens, but I'd like to live in the house forever. Yeah. Forever, ever, and ever, ever. Yes. That's a rap song. Yeah. I don't know. It's, um, you know, we'd spend a lot of time talking about this stuff and it's just kind of like, cause of our age, we were so young. Like it's hard to imagine being in the same house for such a long period of time. But now that I'm, 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 you know, I've eclipsed 40. It's like, okay, now I start thinking to myself, Hey, 20 years from now, I'm in my early sixties. Am I really going to move in, in, in 20 years? Mm, probably not. No, it's like, okay, well then this is probably. <laughs> you just have another house somewhere else. Well, of course. And that's the thing. It's like, okay, well, whatever. That was another thing is I was looking at homes in Florida and I'm just like, yeah, I'll just, there's no reason to move here. Just find out something down there. Have a nice home up here. Just rent. You think? Well, if prices plummet, why not buy? I'm only, but I'm like, you've seen offers. I put, I put in two offers and I've offended both sellers. So that's my <laughs> kind of offer. Cause I look at it going, yeah, I don't think your house is worth what you're listing it at. And also I'm in no rush. The offer stands. Come back to me in three months when you're sitting there. Yeah, the house I want on Lake Lanier, that one just sold. Remember the white one? Oh, did it? Yeah. That's a nice lake. Yeah. Yeah, the only problem is it's like, it's an hour and a half from the airport. From the Atlanta airport. Yeah. yeah it's a hike. But if you're going to have, if you're going to be there for like months at a time or a month at a time. Yeah. It's only. You only yeah, plus we're going to have real once. estate in Atlanta at some point. Yeah, you only drive it one time. You know? Well, no, because we're going to come home on, we'll probably come home once a month. Yeah, so it's one, one. Yeah, you may be right. It's not a big deal. It's not like you're doing it multiple times a week, you know. Good problems to have to think about. Yeah, that's true. Or you just get a helicopter and then it's no drive. That's true. I wouldn't go in a helicopter. I drive. <laughs> I'll rent a Dodge Journey. Uh, Intel's up almost six percent. Nvidia's rebounding. Snowflake. Nvidia Look at is 3M rebounding. down to 93 bucks a share. Yeah, I got a notification for that this morning. Yeah, so did I. 178. All time high was 181. One. 181.36. Over a year ago. Yeah. That'll Over be, a year ago. I'll be back there. All time high. 0.5% <clears throat> dividend. I still always joke when I look at NVIDIA's dividend. I'm like, is this like a, an error? And I've seen it in other sites. I'm like, how do they pay a 0.04% dividend? Just save your money and pay I, down debt. Yeah, I don't understand why. Like this, this dividend is hilarious. 0.5, but it's still $15 billion. I know. That is funny. Listen, those are going to start increasing. Oh, yeah. It's time, somebody's calling you. Oh, it's probably just spam. Let's see. Like, why bother? It doesn't even show as a... It doesn't it, even have a number there. Yeah, that's the funny part. It's 0.0% it's because it's to the round to the tenth of a percent. What does, that, what does that mean? Why would a company do that? 
Um, I don't know. It's a good question. Hmm. Enterprise value to earnings, 175 to one. That's going to end up good. P- price to sales ratio hit f- over 40 yesterday. That's going to end up good. Look at that parabolic rise. Yeah. Yeah, that'll, this, this, is, this is going to go really well. Yeah. You know, those debt ceiling stuff, it's funny whenever I hear yeah, people... what's the situation with this? I don't know. It's just funny. To I hear. haven't tuned in at all. I, I, I don't think it's been... Yeah, I don't think it's been um, approved yet, like oh. signed off on yet. Okay. But now student loans were being, oh, sorry. Hey, kids, sorry you have to pay the student loans that you took out and take responsibility for the money that you borrowed. Oh, my God. It's How just, sad. My, my, my friends Nick and Amanda, they, they took out debt, and like their parents didn't pay for anything for them, and now Nick got his master's. Amanda is a pharmacist, and they paid off all their debt like in 2020 or 19. I don't remember what it was. And Amanda's so pissed. She's like, all this forgiveness, we did this the right way, this and that, and all these bullshit degrees get paid off. Are they huge libs? No. I didn't think so. No. But not, I was talking to um, Mike, Mike Williams yeah. called me yesterday talking about Target and yeah. Budweiser. He's like... I heard about that. It's heard about what? Who was, talk- was it- Who was talking about Target and Budweiser in one of our chats? Was it Dalton? I don't know. But Mike called me. He's okay. like, what's going on? I'm like, listen. And we start talking about things. I'm like... It, 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 everybody's all about wokeness until it starts to affect them. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen. At some point, everybody's going to be affected by wokeness, and then the super libs are going to be like, oh, this sucks. It's like, well, that's not what I meant when I meant this. It's like, well, that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's like, unfortunately, that's what happens. Did you see the new uh, bathing suit at Target that you can tuck it in? Yeah, I did. I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. Thing. It's a rainbow. Listen, thing, I hope this wokeness thing continues because I want Target stock to fall and fall and fall. Uh, so what's it at right we, now? I, we got to get this bathing suit. That, I'm more concerned about that than the stock price. Uh, it's up today a little bit. Tuck it's 134. Bathing suit. It's, it's so cold. Um, where's Target? Tar- no, Target, Target didn't offer a tuck friendly bathing suit. What? Oh, here it is. Bathing suits. Oh, they're for women. Where's the? Uh... Well, yeah, because that's your tucking. You're trying to be a. You're trying to be a ma- a woman who's right, a man. But it shouldn't be under a woman category. Yeah, it is. They it identify under, as women. It should be under a gender neutral category. Uh oh, you're right. I mean, I'm. I am offended by this. Tuck friendly swimsuits. Tuck friendly swimsuits. <laughs> there we it. go. Let's see this. They have oh, kids God, on there. This is so effed up. Where's the tuck? I'm going to tuck it back. Chris Stefano, why aren't your people coming to us? Somebody actually said that on the morning show. They were like, hey, whatever happened with the comedian? All right. I, I don't know. I, I don't know where to, I don't Are know you where done? to go from here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just kind of wanted one. Good boy. He so, kind of wanted so we can, one. So we can make content with a tuck. Tuck it back. <laughs> tuck it back and be a good little angel. <laughs> when my, when my mom and father uses his... His transgender name? Use my transgender name? Chrissy. Yeah. Debt ceiling, debt ceiling, debt ceiling. I don't know about this stuff. I just don't see. So the debt, allegedly, or <laughs> whatever the way you want to sort it. My has, father's a criminal, so he speaks, he uses criminal language. That's how he talks. <laughs> We've defaulted on the debt four times, kind of, but not really. Yeah, I don't really. I, when people say that, they're like, oh, this is not, you know what it's like? It's like when I hear people, I've said this before, when I hear people say, we don't live in a democracy, we live in a republic. Like everybody's like, ooh, uh, yeah. you're amazing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got it. We, I mean, I think they, we know what people are talking about when they say we defaulted on this debt. Like it's not right. like it's a, the other ones were a real debt. It was right. like, it was a debt, but it wasn't like the debt we're talking about now. Right. <laughs> How is the NASDAQ only down half a percentage point after the biggest run-up we've had? Listen, if somebody called the echo boom, I don't know. You know, Mikey and I are having discussions about this. He's like, you know, it's been going on. Like, Mikey, you've never lived through it. We talked for an hour and a half yesterday. Is that how long we talked for? That's what he told me. Maybe split up amongst two different meetings. Because he came in the gym and he was like, Paul and I spoke for an hour and a half today. I was like, hour and a half? Wow. Listen, he's... He's, he's really affected by guys. Look at it this way. I don't get affected by stocks going up, stocks going down, whatever my stocks going down that I own. Like I look at 3M and I own the stock. Don't go buy it just cause I own it. And I look at that going down. I go, yeah, I like think to myself, okay, good. I get to buy more shares. Mikey is not, Mikey says he's that way about stocks going down. I, I don't blame him on that one, but the, 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 the call, the, the, the option short positions, he literally wants to cry. Yeah. He can't stand it. 
he doesn't look at it as, which I get what he's saying. He's like, Paul, at least with the stock going down, we own the business still. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I got you. Okay. And then I'm glad he even says that. He's like, we still own a stream of cash flow. We are okay. I got you. But um, yeah, he's very affected by that stuff. Like he really wants to cry. Mm. Yeah. He's, just, he's very affected by it. My father's getting trigger happy. So like every quarter, my dad really has to just buy a stock. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter what it what's is. What's the one he's looking at Exxon now? Exxon Mobil. Why? I don't know. It's down. <laughs> is it down? Yeah, he's like, it's going to go back up. What I'm is like, it, XOM? Oh, really? I was like, what exactly is, like, what about it? And he's like, well, it's down. I'm like, oh. Um, so it, it got as high as, let's see. Go lower. 120? 120? Yeah, 120. What's it now? Um, 102. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's down. So we have to go buy. But he did. Uh, let's see. What's what's Schwab doing? So every <clears throat> I have to give him, throw him a bone every. See, once I can't in a while. do Schwab. I just don't like the balance sheet at all. So he bought Schwab. God knows when. Probably somewhere back. By in the there. way, what was the peak in '99? What was that price? <laughs> Roughly. Come on. Okay, you got to go edit the custom thing and go to back then. It's gonna be too hard to get that exact one. Let's do '98 to 2000. End of 2000. No, you can't do that. You have to do oh, zero to one. It. Okay. Zero one zero one. Wait a second. Bro, are you slow? Why isn't it going? Why doesn't it just jump? No, oh. at 2001. 1998. Okay. I'm exhausted. One. Tw- okay, there you go. Just do that. One. No, no, you're fine. You're there. Okay. <clears throat> there it is. Come on. $50. 50. So it's even in the last 20. What date was that? That was 1999. Mm-hmm. Guys, in the last 24 years, Schwab has gone nowhere. <clears throat> Schwab has gone nowhere in the last 24 years. And you're telling me that the, inter- that the, 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 um, the stock market didn't look like the most amazing thing in the world in 1999. Things are going like crazy. Everything's gonna be awesome. And let's go see the financials with the exception of, uh, I'm just going to call it COVID COVID. It's it, it would have never been here. Go to the income statement, go to the income statement. Okay. This year they did 21 billion in revenue. Scroll down. What was the profit? Seven point four billion in profit. Let's see what they did in nineteen ninety nine. One more. They did three billion in revenue and four hundred million dollars. So if I told you in nineteen ninety nine, this is a great example, that Schwab selling at fifty bucks, their revenue is going up seven times, their profit was going to go up almost twenty times, and the stock would be the same. You just said I was crazy. That's what it means. It doesn't mean. It, it means that in the in the long run, stocks are a weighing machine. And it was overvalued back then. It didn't work. Hundred billion dollar company it was back then. It's hundred. Well, maybe not because they probably have less shares. They probably have less shares today than they did back then. Actually, let's look at that. How many shares do they have outstanding? How do they? How many shares are there in? Oh, no, they're there. That's nineteen ninety nine. One point four billion. And what do they have now? Actually, more. Yeah, one point eight. Oh, I love it. Schwab's a great example then, because look at that, look at that seven times revenue, almost like basically 15 times profit, 15 mm-hmm. and a half times profit. Mm-hmm. And the stock is the same price it was 24 years ago. How do you like them apples? Mm-hmm. Scroll down a little bit. Is there a dividend? 2.2%. So I don't know what their past <clears throat> dividends were. I just don't like their balance sheet. It's just really hard for me to understand. It felt like a T row price. Yeah. What is mm-hmm. T row at? Is it still like 105? Yeah, what else, six? F them. 52-week low of $93.50. All right, anything else, Mo? Nope, that's it. All right, guys, thanks very much. And uh, we do these just as a shoot-the-shit kind of sessions. And uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Later. Laters.